to you guys. I mean, I've enjoyed my time in Rwanda, but the couple of things I've been really fascinated by, the motorcyclists, okay? These guys have helmets, they have the shoes, they, I mean, like, I want to talk to them, like, why is so structured and they still have to be this way? I'm very fascinated about that. So, like, just come with me. We're going to talk to some guys who are on bike, and you're going to understand, like, why certain things are how they are. So, like, Hello. How are you? Good. Good, good, good. I like it. 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 So what happens if his passenger says they don't want to wear it? So how do you how do you, how do you feel about just doing all of these things? How, how does he feel? I you know the I I to the That's really good. Thank you, Sawa. Hi, Sawa. Hi, Sawa. Hi, Sawa. I mean, do you see any dirt? I don't see any dirt on the street. It's like a mandate to keep the place clean, you guys. I'm not eating on the street, but of course, if I could, I wouldn't have a problem. You see, because it's so clean <laughs> along the route here. We move, we move, and we move, and we move, and we move. So we are back with another person to talk about Mr. Paul Kigami. Okay, so I want to ask this gentleman, what do you think about Mr. Paul Kigami, your president, your awesome president? Tell me more about your president.
Kagame. That was so still. Hold on. Let's go. Let's start. Hello. 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 How are you? How are you? How are you? No. 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 He said no. So 
told you guys, like I've said, it's, it has been very fascinating to uh, see people wear their vest and, and helmet and, and just very safe. And I just want to speak to a lot of these bike guys to their perspective. Perspective is really key, all right? So let's move. Okay, so we're going to talk to the gentleman here. Um, so you, you are very well clothed and nicely dressed and safe. I would like to know why do you have to wear the rare vest? Okay. Why, why can't they wear like, a, like this, this kind of shoe, like the slippers, why do they wear like clothes clothes? We are still here in the wonderful Kigali, 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 this wonderful, wonderful place, this wonderful place and we are still here talking to the bike guys, so let's move to the next person. Hello, hello. So I would like to know, why do you have two? Why do you have two helmets? So what happens if the passengers have your two helmets? So we were out in the street today and we asked a couple of questions across people from different fields and walks of life and the question centered around Mr. Kiga, uh, Paul Kigami, okay, the president of Rwanda, and I know you are a Rwandan, and of course, the only reason why you're not in this video is because you don't want to be on camera, which is okay, you have camera shy. So you guys, as many of you guys know, I've said it before, Pasi is, uh, is my editor in Rwanda, but we also work on marketing, and we also have some projects here in Rwanda as well, but of course, he's not going to display himself because he don't like to be on camera, so I'm going to ask him some questions. So Pasi, after going around today and speaking with everyone, what do you think is the general message about uh, your president? Mm, like, in one word. What, like, in other words, what is the common message everybody says? Like, what, what, what do you think are people really saying about the president? I mean, I mean, the main message, uh, like, everybody was just pointing out is... Uh, he puts his people okay. before anything else. Okay, support of his people. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. When you're, when you're very supportive for your people, it means that you are. You will try to do anything, uh, and you will try to do everything that can be that can be benefiting your people. Like you know, in in different sectors, okay. such as in education, such as infrastructures, so that like everybody can be involved. Like depending on on the sectors you're working on. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That's, that's excellent. So uh -huh. it's a it's a very common message across everybody. It seems people are very happy with the president, correct? Definitely. People are very happy with the president uh -huh. and how he's running things. And I also understood like people people are following the policies. Like you know, if they say don't do this, people people really follow that. Is that is that something you can speak to? Yeah, definitely. Like I have what to say about that. Uh, I mean, the main reason behind that. Uh, it happens like everywhere when you have someone uh, you've been following or you, you've been led by mm -hmm. and and you can see that there is you know a big progress that you can see okay or there is such a big impact in your life okay uh, I feel like it's, it's, you, you have to you know you have to obey him you have to follow what mm -hmm. he's asking for mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, because it is in in your if in your in your benefit right yes, if I can say interest. in exactly. your interest so I think that was the main reason because most of the things uh, that he has done has been impacting okay. everybody, okay. no matter the or sector you can be in, right? Okay, okay. So, so with that reason, I mean, that's why uh, people are just following. Uh, I mean, that's that good policy set okay. by him. That's good. That's good. You know, he's highly admired across Africa. People see him as a good leader. And so it's nice to know that the people in Rwanda also see the same thing too. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because I've also gone to other African countries where I asked, like, how's your leader? And they were like, say bad things, right? Mm -hmm. But you, when you come here, even mm -hmm. though it's not perfect, mm -hmm. but people still admire what mm -hmm. he does. And so that's something I can really take away from Rwanda. Mm -hmm. The other aspect is the, the motorcyclist. Mm -hmm. I mean, I really had to do content because in my country, Liberia, 
they don't care to wear helmets. They don't. They wear like um, open shoes. You know, they they, they don't have a, a helmet for a passenger. Three people can be on the bike at the same time. And when I saw the structure here in Rwanda, I was like, no, I have to really um, talk about this content. And so as you've seen, I've gone to several bike uh, motorcycle guys to really talk to them and understand their perspective as to why they have to be dressed like this. And so. The overall message, really, can you talk a little bit about the, the overall message that they all said? Uh, actually, most of them, they were talking about their safety, mm -hmm. their passenger safety. Good. You know, I mean, the good policy said, you see, uh, because uh, to say that policy, it is because uh, there were so uh, mistakes that have been happening, they were so know you know accident mm -hmm. uh, you know things that were not good right. for the people right. so and they were also in the country they could exactly, see that exactly. so they could see that you can be in danger right they have seen so many people you know you know hurting uh, yeah, and other, yeah, hurting other problems. Because, yeah because of not wearing helmets or you know shoes right you see uh, so with all those uh, lesions started above I think that's why they understand it much better. Okay. So to explain someone a policy, and who was there, he ha they have seen a lot of things happening. It's easier to to understand. To just understand. Oh, yeah. I really like that perspective because yeah. it's not that okay. The government is forcing you right to mm -hmm. to wear it, even though there's a policy. Mm -hmm. But these people understand for their own safety. Definitely. That is the reason why. So nobody needs to beg you for your own safety. Definitely. So if you see so many deaths or so many people hurting. You say, oh no, I have to wear my shoes. I have to wear my helmet and, and, and you know, the passenger safety too. And, you know, across everyone, if you don't wear it, you're fine. You know, you're fine. And, and so I really admire this and I really want to talk about it. So thank you for speaking on it. Um, I definitely look forward to coming back to Rwanda more and having us to continue on the business that we've started here. Yeah, thank you. Welcome. Ciao.